Hello Gemini! Welcome to your mid-month general reading. This is going to be a preview for the full-length reading, which you can find over on my Patreon page. That's www.patreon.com slash the good, the bad, and the tarot. Uh, link up in the uh, right-hand corner here and then down below in the description box. Um, so Gemini, um, I actually have meditated on your energy a little bit already. Um, I knew I was going to record you first today, and because I have, I'm doing air signs today, over on my uh, Patreon page, and over on YouTube here. But um, uh, some things that were coming to me uh, that I just have to uh, communicate is a feeling of extreme exhaustion. Um, there's definitely a feeling of an exhaustion and not being able to get enough air, not enough oxygen. Um, cause, um, the feeling that I was getting was not being able to catch my breath or even a feeling of being suffocated. So I'm really sensing that, um, you guys need air. You need to be in your own element. You need fresh air. Um, you need to be able to take really deep breaths. So, um, I'm definitely hearing like, um, even Kundalini yoga or, or breathing exercises, um, deep breathing, deep breathing. All the way in, all the way out, like really cleansing that air inside of you even. Um, and also it's a dark gloomy day today, a little bit rainy, so a bit of a somber mood as well, definitely a heavier mood. And I noticed that um, uh, in that my Taurus reading too, Taurus is a sign right before yours, um, that the the tone did get a little bit darker there, so as we move into Taurus season, and even 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 though we're we're at the mid month here of April, um, you know we're we are going into a new season. It will be important for you for you guys to um, pay attention to your breath. And some cards that just came out here are the Six of Cups and the Hierophant. So interesting. Um, the Hierophant can be a teacher, um, someone who has an, a religious affiliation, someone who is respected and looked up to, even some sort of, I'm hearing, advocate or advocacy. Um, Six of Cups has more to do with reminiscing. Um, this feels like a very personal situation here, uh, what I'm getting. Um, because I'm actually seeing, what I'm seeing here is is people or two people or a group of people getting together and reminiscing about something or, or talking about, for example, like if you were going to school, um, talking after class about your teacher or discussing some things about, uh, for example, religion, the world, um, doctrine, dogma. Um, there can also be here a familiarity with the Six of Cups. Um, of someone that you've known for a while, maybe getting back together with an old friend or um, discussing things. Um, there seems to be a good friend here or someone. Maybe this person is a teacher. Maybe this person is someone you look up to, a mentor. Um, some of you could be going back to school or thinking about going back to school. All right, so I'm done with my meditation here and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I did change the camera angle because, similar to with my Taurus reading, I started to have um, difficulty getting the camera set up right um, in the above head position. So um, what I'm kind of getting here is that you're you're wanting um, you're wanting to be closer to someone. You're wanting more intimate, more less superficial interactions. Um, this is a more realistic uh, point of view POV. Um, the way that I have the camera set up now, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more intimate, it's a little bit more, um, it's not as like sleek and clean and everything as having the above uh, camera, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, just as a message here, um, you guys are wanting something that feels familiar, something that feels like home, or something that feels like like a friend that you can talk to or someone that you can discuss your ideas with, like someone that can be a sounding board for you. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, and now I've completely done your whole reading. So we can just end the reading now. Just kidding. 
Uh, yeah, three of cups here. So friendship. Friends, community, very important. This is the third house. And we have your sign, the lovers. I definitely feel it. I definitely feel your energy. Um, there is a nostalgia there. There is a feeling of like, ah, uh, things were so much better then. Or reminiscing about a past love or a past time in your life. What did you learn? What lessons can you bring forward? I see you as a teacher and a mentor for others now. Taking your past experience, bringing it into your current job or whatever. Show me Gemini's past, present, and future. The present being the moment that they view this reading. This is their mid-month mid, uh, mid reading for April 2019. As we head into Taurus season here, for all my Gemini suns, moons, risings, and Geminis on the house cusp, I probably skipped over um, <clears throat> some information that I would like to share with you regarding what we're going to be doing over on Patreon, but for some reason that seemed not as important as the messages that I wanted to share with you there. So in the recent past, you have the Two of Spears. You have the um, Seven of Spears in reverse. Fire sign energy. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. So far, all made minor arcana, sorry, all minor arcana. And we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, going into your current situation, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. The Five of Spears in reverse. There's the Magician in reverse, also a Gemini energy. Gemini Virgo Sag, but we'll take it. And we also have the Four of Coins in reverse. Okay, going into the future, we have Temperance in reverse. No core cards. Very interesting. Nine of Cups in reverse. Where is Gemini? Gemini's left the building. Um, although you could be the, the magician here. We'll talk about that in the, um, the forecast over on Patreon. Page of Spears and the Sun. And we'll also be clarifying um, cards over there with the Royo Dark Tarot by Luis Royo. Um, deck by Lo Scarabello. Famous deck. It actually also comes, um, this is the mini deck, which is perfect for clarifying cards, but your outcome for April is the Two of Cups. It's upright. So that's nice to see. And we also have the Emperor. At the bottom of the deck, Gemini, we have the Hermit in reverse. So, um, we're also going to be pulling a guidance message from the Ancient Animal Wisdom deck and book set. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, <clears throat> by Stacey James and Jada Fire. Please join me over on Patreon. Um, all air signs will be up today um, as well. So that will conclude the series. Um, you can get all 12 um, mid-month readings for just a dollar pledge. Pledges are like subscriptions, which you can cancel at any time. Um, however, they will be charged um, around between the 1st and the 5th of the month. Well, I believe it's on the 1st of the month, so that you won't be charged until next month. And then I don't actually get the payment until the 5th or the 7th now. They've pushed it back for me. So that's that. Um, check out your weekly reading because those are up on YouTube as well from the 15th through the 21st. I think that's all, guys. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. I hope to see you over on Patreon. Bye.